Hey, sorry I'm late. It's okay, you just made it. So are you excited? Absolutely. <laughs> I have been waiting for this night all year. I mean, wow, check out this lineup. This is an outstanding group of candidates we have here tonight. Mm -hmm. hey, did you get a chance to meet any of the finalists before you came into the ballroom? I did, and you said it, outstanding. They are the best of the best. And tonight is really about honoring every one of them for their exceptional companies and extraordinary efforts. We're going to learn a little bit about every entrepreneur tonight. They all have interesting and inspirational stories. For over 20 years, Ernst & Young has been recognizing the most passionate and successful entrepreneurs from regions around the world. And the central Midwest has always had a strong showing. It looks like tonight is no exception. You know, I can't wait. And it looks like Randy Boosman is about to come out and get us walking through the program here. So here we go. David Dryling, GTM Sportswear. Known for quick service, GTM Sportswear provides custom sports apparel for schools and sports teams. One of the biggest things I've learned is that just because it hasn't been done before doesn't mean that it can't. If you're willing to work hard, if you're willing to tweak it as you go, uh, with enough momentum, most things can, can be, you know, accomplished. A lifelong entrepreneur, David Dryling sold vegetables to a local supermarket at age 12. At 15, he refurbished bicycles. In college, he began selling sportswear on the KSU campus. After David graduated, he went into the clothing business full-time, eventually founding GTM Sportswear. GTM refers to David's first sportswear company, it's Greek to me. Catering to fraternities and sororities, David and his partner would travel the country, setting up shop in Greek houses for an hour at a time. This business model eventually produced yearly sales of almost $2 million. David decided to include the K-12 school markets, marketing to sports coaches and booster clubs. GTM Sportswear quickly became known for quality service and fast turnaround shipping custom items in days instead of weeks. GTM developed their own software systems to answer growing demand and will soon allow customers to design their clothing online and have it shipped to their door within 48 hours. David established a unique training program at GTM, giving potential salespeople the opportunity to shadow current staff. Members of this program are usually moved into full-time positions within a few months. We think we can become the world's greatest company at providing customized sportswear for groups of people on, on a national basis. David Dryling had several successful businesses under his belt before he could drive. This born entrepreneur drives his current business with that same spirit, establishing GTM Sportswear as a visionary leader in a highly competitive industry. Good evening. My name is Mitch Woolery with Kutak Rock, a national law firm. At Kutak, we love working with entrepreneurs. We love their passion. We love their spirit. We love their drive. And whether we're dealing with a mad scientist with a business plan or the leader of a Fortune 10 company, we love working with entrepreneurs. Through our site visits at their companies, we came away with profound respect for all that these companies that you have seen tonight have done and the many achievements that they had ahead of them. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my high honor to present the winner of the 2007 Entrepreneur of the Year Award in Consumer Products, David Dryling, GTM Sportswear. <laughs> First of all, I would like to thank the Academy. I've always wanted to say that, and I know this is going to be my only opportunity to ever do something like that. So, um, Seriously, I, on behalf of, of our 500 employees, I'm very, very honored to be up here. Uh, in, in 94, I was also named a finalist, and at that point, uh, I had hoped to maybe someday come back and, and uh, have improved a little more, be up here where I am now. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank God for giving me uh, not only the, the opportunities that he has, uh, but in retrospect, even some of the challenges. Um, he probably didn't need to give me all the challenges that he did or, or uh, um, some of that, but uh, in, in retrospect, I'm, I'm very, very, very thankful for that. Um, I would also like to thank my family, especially Kristen, my wife, um, from the very first time that we met 
and got married, she stood behind me, and she just uh, never, ever doubted what, what I thought we could accomplish. And there were times when I would even doubt myself that she never, ever doubted that at all. Uh, I'd like to thank Tyler, my son, and Morgan, my daughter, that are here uh, for the times that the daddy couldn't be home, uh, for, for understanding that. Uh, I would also like to thank all of my outside partners. Uh, I, I have Rob Stead is a, is a, was my banker that helped me get started, and he was my banker for about nine years. Uh, the first time I met Rob and we talked about our deal, he, he just bold-faced lied to me. Um, I've, I've kind of gotten over that, but he said, well, Dave, in order to do this, we're going to need to go SBA. And he said, but don't worry, there's not much paperwork or hassle involved. Uh, it'll be easy. So. I'd also like to thank Terry Hartz and uh, um, some of his folks from UMB, as well as Dean Tebow from Landmark Bank. They, they've just been an incredible partner uh, in our industry. We deal with a lot of inventory, and as you know, banks hate inventory, uh, but somehow they've, they found ours to be somewhat palatable. Um, finally, I have a lot of our, of our key employees here. Uh, I have four v VPs and, and several of, of them are here tonight. And, uh, um, I, there's no way that we could do what we do growing 30, 40 percent annually for 18 years unless you've got a great group of people and they, they don't have big egos, they, they, they get the vision, they, they, they work very well together and there's just no way that we could, could accomplish what we have um, um, you know, without them. So, so once again on behalf of my staff and, and family and everything, I'm very, very humbled and very honored to be up here. Thank you.